So I finally finished the project. I made a full comic book in three weeks and published it on Amazon. I've always had problems finishing projects. A huge catalog of unfinished projects tears at me from the darkness of my closet. A lot of them may actually never have a chance of getting done, but this is a new me and after everything I've learned from making my comic, I think I will complete my projects. At least most of my projects, if not all of them. So how did I do it? How did I get myself to actually complete a project? To know that, you need to know why I couldn't complete my projects in the first place. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of things in there that you may be struggling with as well. There are three main reasons why I wasn't getting things done and in no particular order. They are perfectionism, rapidly getting new, completely different project ideas and procrastination. Um, yeah, I put perfectionism and procrastination in two different slots and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how I got over each of these problems and got myself to actually complete the project. Number one, perfectionism. So I had no problems starting projects. As I mentioned, I have a huge backlog of unfinished projects including some videos for this YouTube channel. But I start them, actually work passionately on them for a maximum of like two days or something and then my brain just finds ways um, to just wanting to make it the most perfect creation it can be. This leads to a number of problems. If the project is small, it leads to scope creep and if it's not, it leads to imposter syndrome. Uh, imposter syndrome comes up even if it's uh, small anyways. Scope creep is a terminology used in video games for projects that got overblown into a much bigger scope than it already was in the beginning because the developer wanted to add more things to it to make it a better game. The only way to combat this is by promising yourself to stick to the initial plan. Imposter syndrome is the fear you may have in your mind that you're not good enough to do the project. Uh, you've started because it, it requires some sort of extremely precise execution and you feel like you're not skilled enough for that. You feel you're not worthy of a project. You keep comparing yourself to other artists and see that you are nowhere near where they are and this adds fuel to the fire. The main reason I separated perfectionism from procrastination is that although the former contributes to the latter, I actually worked on my projects after starting them due to initial excitement and love for the project. So how did I beat it? I told myself that I was gonna aim to make a bad product. A product that does not trigger the perfectionist side of my brain. I actually got this idea from a video made by my lord and savior Truthless on how to complete the project, how to complete projects. And it actually worked. I got started making a project uh, that I told myself would take me almost no effort to complete and because of this its quality would be rather low. And so I started making a cover. It was a completely different one from the final product. In fact, the name of the project and even the story got changed in the final pro uh, product. More on that on the next item on the list, rapidly getting more completely different project ideas. This one is my main problem. I get an idea, get to work on it, and after a few days, I get inspiration from somewhere to start another project. Listen, I'm an animation and game design student, and I chose this because I loved doing so many things. Video games, movies, comics, and everything's in everything in between. So when I get an idea, it gets to a point where I am so inspired that I have to do it or I can't sleep. And so I start developing a game, for example. In a few days, I see an Image Comics documentary and suddenly remember the really cool comic idea I had in mind and now I can't do the game anymore because now my brain is really inspired to do the comic. And I start it and after two days, I want to just make my next big portfolio illustration series or something because I saw a Boro CG video or an Elgo Josh video. And this cycle repeats forever. And until I started my comic, I thought I could get away with focusing on multiple things at once. Everyone has 24 hours in a day, right? I'm sure if I can compartmentalize them, I can get them all done in no time. But that is much easier said than done. Being someone who gets constantly distracted that wasn't for me. So what did I do to overcome that? I promised myself to not do any other project or commit to anything else at all until I finished the comic. And I would give my complete focus to just finishing the comic. And so every day, knowing my skill, I decided to draw at least two pages. Oh, an interesting thing is that since I decided this, coupled with the initial excitement for the project, I was able to complete the first nine pages in three days. That's three pages more than the goal. Then of course, the jaded middle of the project came in. I was slowly losing excitement again.
but I made sure to stay away from anything that would inspire me to do anything else. Like I stopped watching devlogs and game dev documentaries and screenplay tactics and things like that. And when I lost inspiration, I would watch and re-watch comic book documentaries. In fact, I would put, I would sometimes put them on while making pages and it boosted productivity. I suggest using this with caution as everyone is different and there is a chance that you may end up just watching documentaries for hours on end instead of actually working on your project. Another thing that I did for making sure I got through the middle phase was live streaming the process on YouTube. I wanted to do it every day but at some point it became a bit of a hassle because Streamlabs stopped working and I spent valuable try time trying to fix it. I do suggest keeping an accountability partner and for me that was YouTube. I would live stream until I finish the comic and make this video or look like a loser. An accountability partner is someone you can trust who can make sure that you get your project done. You could pay them or you could help them on their projects or do something like that. Go nuts, it's really helpful method actually. Now I told you that the story and the name of the comic got changed by the end of the project. Let me tell you what happened. I started the comic with no outline, no script and with no concept art. I did have an idea in mind about the story and where it would go but even most of that did not completely materialize in my head until I was almost ending the first chapter. Ah yes, chapters. If I told myself that I was working on a 30 page comic book when I started it, I would have gotten so overwhelmed and may have quit it much sooner. Instead, I divided the comic into chapters for my ease of production. The final comic doesn't have this partition because it's not required and it kind of messes up the rhythm of the short story. So my goal was to finish one chapter. I divided each chapter into six pages and promised myself to not go above or below that number. But I decided this after the first chapter and that is why that is the longest chapter with nine pages. Dividing your projects into smaller digestible chunks is a great way to get yourself to do it because after you finish each chunk you get a sense of accomplishment and the dopamine hit you get from that makes you want to do it more, providing motivation to finish the project. Here's a dirty trick for motivation. Remember the crush you wanted to impress or the rival you wanted to beat or the teacher you wanted to prove wrong? Think of how they would react after you finish the project. When nothing else works, this will. Trust me, that's another idea I got from Struthless. It isn't the most healthy thing, but it gets the job done. And finally, procrastination. Yes, I procrastinated too. How else do you think a project that was meant to take two weeks because I wanted to draw 30 pages and two pages every day into three? Uh, my main way of procrastination would be quote, preparing end quote. Uh, basically watching YouTube videos or other things and looking up a lot of tutorials online for things ranging from just illustration to publishing the thing. In fact, before this project, I was really putting off starting another comic because I was uncertain of publishing. Specifically where to publish and each platform has its pros and cons and gave me paralysis by analysis. And even if I decided on one, I wasn't sure of it because of the number of mundane activities I may have to go through to actually publish the thing. All of this would keep me from making comics and other projects too. That's the first stage and I beat it quite easily. I told myself that I would worry about it after I got the comic done. But I was, but I kind of made up my mind halfway through the comic and that I'd be using KDP because I was making something really short that was not suitable for scrolling format on Webtoon or other webcomic platforms. Don't worry about what comes after you make your project yet, at least not for the first one. Because ultimately it just does not matter. Make sure that those mundane things don't stop you from realizing your vision and completing your project. Because honestly, there'll always be problems with your comic, your publishing platform, your environment, and the tools you use and, and all that. So yeah, it's best to ignore it. Don't let those things have power over you. I'll tell you one more way to beat procrastination because there's a lot to it and you can find a bazillion videos on YouTube on the topic. And that is to reduce as much friction as possible. Make sure your pen and paper is ready on your table with the script nearby uh, well in advance so that as soon as you get out of bed or whenever you want, you can start drawing your page instead of finding your stuff first. For this reason, I invested in an iPad with my savings and it's been so helpful. 
I don't even have to get out of my bed to draw compared to before when I had to get up, go to my computer, open the computer, wait for it to boot up, set up the tablet if it's not already and so on. It's small things like this that could really disrupt your productivity. Conclusion. Honestly, it all boils down to the cliche advice of just do it. Stop worrying about the things surrounding the project and just focus on the project. You may notice that I have not mentioned time management anywhere as advice. It's because I didn't have strict schedules. I just knew I had to draw the page so I get up, have breakfast and draw pages until I get tired. Then I would draw again after a bit of rest until I reached my daily goal. If I felt like I could if I felt like I could do more that day, I would do it. I'm obviously not saying you shouldn't have a strict schedule. Everyone is different and if having a strict schedule helps you, go for it. But don't worry about it too much. Try to love what you do so that you can't wait to get back to it. You can also see that the final comic does not have proper panels and that is because when I got into two pages of the comic, I felt the childlike wonder I had back when I was nine, when I was making comic strips back then. Uh, I didn't use straight lines, I just drew and nothing could stop me. I wanted to feel that again and it obviously worked, it absolutely just worked. So in conclusion, decide to make a bad product, fall in love with the process of finishing your product and focus only on that and just do it um, that is at least for your first project my comic is now available to buy on amazon and i'll link it in the description below thank you so much for watching if you got value from this video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one